Okay, so here we go. We, we got a link handle. It's a 36 inch uh, single bit bent handle. We got a nice old plum head. So we're going to fit this up. Get rid of this uh, staple out of the back. Show you my process here. So first of all, if you can see in there, there's just a bunch of crud in there. So we're gonna want to clean that out a little bit. There we go. One of these days I'll have to schedule some time to clean my mess in here, but we'll knock the scale and stuff off. the first little fit here see slides right on there part way so give her a little tap yeah she'll end up fitting good so really handy to make yourself a little tool this is just out of an old handle so it's easier to knock them in and out Single bit only goes on one way, double bit you want to find something to mark it so you slide it on the same way. And then you can look here, you can see right there where it's catching on that side, same on that side. So now, put this in the vise here. Grab, I like this little 4 in 1 rasp, has a coarse rasp and a fine rasp and a curved coarse and fine. And we'll just start working where it was dragging down. I can see that it's going it's swelling up as it goes up the handle is typical. So we'll work it up a little bit. shoulder there's where the uh, curved one's nice now if you're not sure you want to go slow and just a little bit and try another fit a little bit try another fit but I've done quite a few of these so see where it's dragging you can kind of eyeball where it needs to work down I'm just working this top shoulder. I'll touch it up real quick with the finer side. Don't have to do the fine side every time. Definitely like to catch it to get rid of all the little burrs before I do my final fit. So we got one side. And we can flip it over. We can work the other side.
this seems to have a little bit of a varnish of some sort on it so I can scrape the rest of the handle later but just in case it fits good I don't think it's gonna fit good on this first try we'll have to take more off just want to scrape this varnish off on the top part of the handle This actually seems more like a wax coating than a varnish, which would actually burn off just fine. check to make sure it's going on nice and straight which it is actually needs quite a bit taken off yet there scraping right up there but you can see it's definitely gonna catch there start to catch that side got a little more aggressive brass bear. one on this side so
kind of fit now. Ooh, that's looking like that might be it. It's looking pretty good. Give her a smack or two. Oh yeah. set right down there where I want it now we get our little wooden wedge I like to just set them right on there you can see it's just a little bit wide That's looking like that'll work. Then we'll put a little glue on it. My axe, I like to drive that in with. I have to go grab. I like to use an axe to drive that wooden wedge in so it gets a nice, you know, hit all the way across the wedge and it's less likely to split in the middle. There we go. It's nice, swollen out. Now, we'll clean that up a little. Actually, I want to make sure that wedge is as far as in as it can go. Oh yeah, it's not going any further. to leave it up proud a little bit and we'll put a couple wedges in there these wedges are kind of trendy these little round ones so I like to save them for my special axes If you get any little splitting or anything on it, you want to clean uh, clean that up again with the sander. Just for good measure for the flat one. The headset. Now we can finish up the rest of the handle.
moved off. Now the burn. Burn part of the handle while we're looking for a new another camera battery. But this is what it looks like. So when I'm burning it, just kind of feather it in and I'll burn it darker than I want it. And then I'll just lightly sand it and it gets rid of like all the the stuff that's a little bit loose from uh, the burning and it lightens the color a little bit. That's the other part of the reason I like scraping it with a knife. You can use a spoke shave too, but I prefer a knife. It makes the grain pop even more. So it's definitely one of those things where uh, take your time. Because if you get too close or uh, try and do too much at once, you can get it burn too much which you can still do a little extra sanding there like I'll sand right here a little bit more I went just a little dark there just slowly work it like right there is, is getting really hot so I'll come down here so I can work it a little bit slower while that pulls down a little bit You do want a glove, the wood stays pretty warm for a little while. I'm going to do uh, actually a pretty light sanding and go get a lighter grip than I use a lot of times. a little 220 because I'm really liking the way this is looking so this one's going to stay pretty dark Linseed oil.
I'll let it sit for a day or two. Put another coat on it. And that's how you do it. Nice well hung plum axe.